Hey guys, what's up? This is Bath Boy and welcome to episode 18 of A Very British Farm here at Colber Park Farm. So, as you can see, we've got the K160 hitched up to the massive New Holland square baler. And we are going to head off to the field. We are going to bale. <laughs> So that is the main goal of today is to get this field baled and then we might look at um, starting to do the bales onto the bale trailer process. Um, that should be about it because it's going to be a lengthy process, it's quite, it's quite a big field um, that we're going to be doing. As you guys can see there's some wobbly bits as well in there, which by that I mean the lines aren't straight on the... Um, in the field, um, whoa, wobbly front end on this. So field nine is the one that we're going to be bailing. Can't believe we're at episode eighteen already. It's unbelievable, Jeff. Where's the input? Here it is. Let's start at a normal position, shall we? That's a lot of bales. <laughs> and we will get down to business, starting here. So yeah, just the small task of this massive bloody field. So the pickup is lowered, we're unfolded, we're turned on. So let's crack on. Ah, I see. It's that realist. It's the realism changing the bale inside the baler to straw from hay. And off we go. What a jolly, lovely time it is, too. Wow, we're going to get a lot of bales off this. I wanted to do this because I've never done bale loading into a bale trailer. And I have just got the JCB telehandler, so I thought that it would be a good idea to give it a try. And I thought it might be a nice way to end the series. Oh, what the hell happened here? <laughs> Mistakes were made. Probably one of the hardest things for um, the tractor to pull is the baler when it's turned on. It saps a lot of power. Just a bit of uh, in cockpit, in cabin. So I'm hopefully going to do a season finale where we do a bit of a finish off of everything. So we'll do a bit of, um, make sure that the cows are happy, make sure the greenhouses are topped up, make sure we've sold all of our milk, sold all of our produce, and then we'll be done on episode 20. And I can't believe it's over. It's taken quite a while, probably a bit longer than I was expecting to do this series, but due to my work commitments, you know, I've had to, uh, postpone a few of the recordings and I had a few software issues whoa but we're here now and we're doing it and we're cracking on <laughs> so I'm going to sell all of these bales there's no point keeping them Especially for the cows, because they've got all they could possibly need for the moment. So yeah, let's look to the future a bit while we've got this long job on the go. We're going to be doing Shellington Farm. I've decided I've actually started constructing my farm and what bits of equipment I want and where I want them to start. 
which is something I didn't do with this map I just started as it as you get it basically with the equipment you got but I'm cherry picking a bit I think the phrase is so I've decided that yeah I'm going to um, which bits of equipment I'm going to use if you do have any strong suggestions for what bits of equipment that you want me to use on that then please let me know because now is the time to tell me because um, I'm setting it up now so it can be anything from what tractors, what combines, what tippers, what sewers, what wind rowers, what tedders, you know everything what do you want to see remember this channel is your channel you guys are the ones that are watching it so I want you guys to enjoy it as much as possible struggles up the hill a bit here doesn't it and I don't know how we've ended up on this row either oh well definitely struggling I think it might be deceptively steep this um this field and the farm in general I guess so we'll turn right here and we'll do that row that I've missed spectacularly bloody hell not like the hill I think we had this problem last time I because I've failed this already and then when you turn now it runs off with you down the hill got it on cruise control yeah here we go just calm it down ever so slightly right there we go back at a normal speed <laughs> and as you can see still still can't get my club sport pedals my Fanatec club sport pedals to work with Climbing Simulator 15 it just it doesn't like it at all so as always if you guys know of a way around this do please let me know because it, it's annoying I just can't wait for the Satex steering wheel to arrive at the end of October month and a half by the way six weeks Ugh. start again on one of these so there we may as well start there hadn't we Start again over here. I lowered the pickup, thank you. Okay, so some more channel news for you. I am going on holiday. Yup. <laughs> on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, this week, I will be on holiday. Hopefully there will be a video or two, potentially, in there. Um, I'm going to do my best to get them scheduled. But, unfortunately, I'm not like professional YouTubers. I don't have that much time, especially to be able to leave them to upload, because I have a appalling appalling upload speeds uh, like half a meg yeah half a meg a second and these videos are kind of two three gigabytes big yeah you see my problem so they take eight nine ten hours if they're 20 minutes to half an hour long sad times sad times so I'll do my very best for you all I can say. Right, leave me to it and uh, you can rejoin me later once I have um, finished. Yep, I'm going to go all the way to finish because I'm not entirely sure you want to hear me rambling on for too long and this is a big field. So I'll see you in two seconds. Okay, so here we are final few rows there's bales everywhere um that's probably a bit quick um yeah i don't know what's happened to this baler but it's been doing it for a while now they just scatter everywhere when they unload which is reasonably annoying but 
it doesn't really matter when you're picking them up with a fork which will be the next job is to go and drop this baler off and uh, go and pick up the trailer and then get the forks all sorted so there we go a few missing blobs but nothing that the cultivator won't be able to handle so let's head back and look how dirty it is ah let's uh, unload baler first shall we nice couple of extras there fold it up and off we go actually we can go out this way can't we just realized <laughs> So we'll head back over to... Actually, no. I am going to go this way. Sorry. I'm going to put this baler back here at Colbra Park Farm. Just because we're running out of room. Down at Chantry Farm. So I parked the harvester up in there. Because there was no room anywhere else. Might give the case a bit of a clean as well while we're up here. Why not, hey? In there will do, won't it? like a glove lovely let's go and give this a clean that will do yeah can clean the weights but for some reason they take a lot longer than cleaning the machines. I seem to remember. Ah, oh, has that been changed? That's what it was like at the start, you had to stand with it like this for about two minutes and it would disappear. That seems to have been updated. Good. Right then. My newly cleaned tractor, let's head back down to uh, the Wednesday stores to pick up the uh, bale trailer. head over here pick up the trailer and we'll drive back drop it well no not drop it drop the tractor and the trailer over in field nine and then we will uh, go and pick up the telehandler JCB agri uh, go and put the bale spike on it we might try out the first bale <laughs> which would be fun and then we should be pretty much done for this episode Good bit of bailing done. And I'm excited for the end of this series. I really am. I still adore this map. If you haven't got it, then you absolutely need to. It's the best map there is so far, in my opinion. Maybe I'll change my mind after I've been playing on Chellington for a while, but I can't see how it'd be better than this. The Literally, the only downside to this map is if you're a bit more of a casual farmer then um, the, the how narrow the fields are around them can be a bit of an issue um, but other than that it is spot on so we'll connect it up which is quite a long trailer isn't it Bloody hell. 
Watch yourself. Awesome. I love it already. Ready. These Marshall trailers are really cool. I think there is actually an updated version of these Marshall trailers, which are a bit more scaled. Because apparently uh, these aren't very scaled. They do look a bit big for what they are of that. Pop past him. I'm going to go all the way up to the T-junction, as we call it here in the UK. And we will be back in field 9 in no time. Good. This is actually what it's like in the UK. You'll regularly see tractors and trailers like this bombing around in the countryside. Let's turn in here. and find a bit of flatter ground for it. Let's roll down here a bit. I'm going to say about here. We'll do. Pretty central position. Lovely. So let's combine the, one of the new Hollands. It's nicely parked up. As is the other one. And, and here we have telehandler so what we'll do is we'll drop the bucket over here we don't need it for now and we will head off over to Chantry Farm where I believe the bale spike is because that's where it was get that for a bit Again, awesome, awesome mod. Love this JCB mod. Just as good as the New Holland, but half the price. And it's a JCB. This is cooler. <laughs> Fact. So, this is actually one of the um, machines that I am very much looking forward to using with the Saytech uh, steering wheel. Just because it has got a joystick that comes on the control panel. Um, which means with buttons on it, which means I'll be able to use this as if it had a joystick. Which will be awesome! Definitely going to be doing some forestry with it as well, with the forwarder and the, uh, the cutter. So keep your eyes peeled, end of October. Saytech specific. Uh, Saytech farming simulator specific. Steering wheel. Just keep it tight. Don't hesitate, don't worry. We are back over with the cows, everything nicely parked up. And here is the bale spike. Whoa. Easy. Easy. There it is. Bale spike in all its glory. Make it safe. <laughs> and I'm going to head back over to field nine. While we're over here, just before I do that then, just check on everything else. So we've got a bit of wheat and barley in there, some manure. Uh, harvest income was 79 grand, that's good. Animals, here we go then, so cows, so feeding still on 30%. 
uh, water fill level 30%, straw 25%, manure 40 so all is well. So it has, as we wanted to originally, to head back to Cobra Park farm, specifically field number nine, to start some bailing. And another beautiful day going into evening here in Herefordshire, England. Here we are. Here we are. So I'm going to give one a test. Because I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to increase my mouse sensitivity for this to work. Is my feeling? There we go. First one loaded pretty much perfectly as you would expect <laughs> so that is going to be the end of episode 18 of a very British farm here at Copper Park Farm so as you can see next time around we're going to be loading these bales onto this bad boy and going off to sell them which will hopefully then tee us up brilliantly to finish off with a flurry in the final season finale episode 20 i hope you've enjoyed it please leave me a like comment with your thoughts and inputs but until next time <laughs>